The inspiration for Extreme Measures basically came out of uh, you know, the men and women in Washington, D.C. that I know who have worked in the intelligence agencies uh, for their entire lives and, and how that business has affected them in the post 9-11 era. How these people basically, after 9-11, were asked to, to go to far-flung places and, and do some really nasty stuff and then, and then come home and, and try to live a normal life. And, and in many cases, it was not easy for them to do it. What I want readers to do when they read this book is to walk away from it and to understand the sacrifice that these men and women make who work for the CIA and the National Counterterrorism Center. The fact that, that their lives, their jobs are so intense, you know, they work 70, 80 hours a week, they travel all over the world, that they have, they have suffered at home. Their families have suffered because of their commitment to protecting us. And it's something we never think about. As, as citizens, all we do is we hear, we hear the media rip them apart and we hear the politicians rip them apart and call into question their motives and what they're doing. And we never stop and think that they're actual, real people who get up on a Sunday night in, in the dead of night and leave their family and rush to an air, airport to get on a, a, a private jet and fly all around you know, to the other side of the world to do things to try to protect us. And, and we owe them a debt of gratitude. And I hope they walk away from this book appreciating the sacrifice these people have made. How do Mitch Rapp and I differ? A little bit of me goes into every character, male or female, as weird as that sounds. I mean, I'm, I'm the person writing the book. Um, Mitch Rapp's a very different person from me, though. Physically, we're not alike, but I think, yes, he, he has become a great way for me to express my frustrations and other people's frustrations with Washington and the war on terror and how politicians act. What's next for me and Mitch? There's a few loose ends and extreme measures, and Mitch Rapp has got to come back and tie him up. And um, I haven't been this excited to sit down and write a book in a long time, because usually when I end a book, I close. It's, it's done, and I move on to a new story, a new, a, a new story, a new slate of villains, all that. In this particular scenario, I get to bring back some villains, I get to bring back some people, and, and show the reader how they've changed. And I'm pretty excited about it. My biggest piece of advice for aspiring writers is to identify the genre that you want to write in, look at the three, four, or five best authors in that genre, and study them. Study them line by line, paragraph by paragraph, see how they do it, and then throw it all away and sit down and tell a good story. And after that, only half the work's done. You now have to get it published, and what I've found is, is the ones who don't quit are the ones that end up getting published. Like most things in life, if you want it bad enough and you stick with it and you have a little bit of talent, it will pay off. So don't quit. That's my advice.